Welcome to the Unapologetic Man Podcast. The only podcast that's all about self-improvement, confidence, success, women, and being a man without making any apologies for it. What is up, gentlemen? Thank you for tuning in to another episode of the UMP. I really do appreciate it. And today, we are going to talk about my opening to sex matrix. Basically, the amount of attraction you need to get through every step of the process and why some of you guys may be able to get numbers, but you don't get texts back. Some of you guys may be able to get texts back, but you don't get first dates. Some of you guys may get first dates, but not get a second one. There's always hiccups along the way, and I want to talk about this matrix that I created, which will probably make you feel a little bit better about where your sticking point is because you definitely have the tools to be able to ascend past it. Most guys get to a certain point and then just completely go down in flames, and they're always wondering, why the hell does this constantly happen? I want to give you some insight into why that might be in today's episode. And before I jump into the content, I want to give you guys two things. First of all, I have to read an absolutely spectacular review. You know I got to flex up. Look, I don't advertise other people's products on this podcast because I get hit up all the time and I simply tell them no. I only advertise my own product. So when you get so much free content, you know what you got to do. You got to sit through some advertisements. But honestly, I find it really inspiring that there's a program out there that helps guys this much. So I hope you're not sitting there wrinkling your eyebrows and practicing your rear naked choke so that if you ever meet me, you'd be like, you're fucking advertising and then you choke me out. But instead, I hope you get as much joy out of these as I do because it's cool, right? Like we're changing guys' lives. This is really a positive movement that's happening, which is why I have no internal conflict whatsoever of reading these testimonials. And furthermore, Thank God I'm not advertising to use some fucking strap-on dildo company or some anal bleaching cream that I'm trying to get you to buy as so many other people do on their podcasts. It's fucking ridiculous. Do you know about Norton antivirus? Well, I put it on my computer. You're just like, bro, shut the fuck up. I don't give a shit about your fucking antivirus. Just get into the content. So before I read this testimonial, which is absolutely spectacular from my boy Chad, I want to give you guys something that Victor my wingman and my partner came up with the other day and I was just absolutely floored because I don't know why, but I've never thought of this before. So Victor and I were talking and he's like, bro, one of the best places to meet tons and tons and tons of hot girls are at conventions. And I was like, what do you mean conventions? He's like, bro, makeup conventions, yoga conventions, fitness conventions, hair conventions, anything that chicks are into There are convention centers in each of your cities, right? Like some of you live in LA, Las Vegas, New York, wherever you happen to be, even if you live in a small town, in a city near you, there are fucking conventions, bro, where they put on things like April 2023, the Yoga Pants Convention. Any chick with the most banging body ever, come to this convention, try on tons of those black, pink, and purple yoga pants, and walk around in the convention with freaking 50,000 other hot chicks. And there will literally be no dudes there. So he was saying to me, he's like, look, you show up there and you hit on chicks. And if anybody questions you, you just say, yeah, I'm here with my friend. She's a model. She's trying on whatever the yoga pants or she's an aspiring hairdresser or whatever it is. And then you just get numbers and you just meet tons of chicks. And he was telling me, he's like, one day I was in Las Vegas outside a convention center and I'm like sitting there eating a burrito. And then suddenly these two doors open and all these hot chicks come out. It's just like eight, eight, nine, 10, 10, nine, eight, 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 nine, 10, and 11 walks out. And he's like, what, what in the little fuck is happening here? His burrito drops to the floor. His fucking dick hits him in the chin because he gets a boner the size of the Eiffel Tower. And he's like, what is this? And then he looks on the board and it's like, Vita Sassoon hairdressing convention. And he's like, oh my God. So he literally goes in there and he hits on every single girl he can find and he gets the phone numbers of like 50,000 fucking solid nines. And I told him, is it okay if I share it with the boys on the podcast? And he said, absolutely, man, share it with them. It's an awesome idea. So honestly, gentlemen, you should look at conventions in your local area You could even go with a friend and just check it out and just talk to girls the whole time. It's such a genius idea. I can't believe I've never thought of it. 
but that's the power of having a mastermind. That's the power of having a community, which when you join my program, we have over 500 veterans of my coaching program in the Brotherhood Facebook group. And that's all we do is we spitball how to meet girls, where to meet them. And then Victor came up with that. And I said, I have to share this with my boys on the podcast. And of course, my boys in the coaching program. So I thought that was an awesome idea. Steal it. I hope you guys have amazing success with it. All right, into the review, and then we're going to get into the approach to Sex Matrix. So Chad says, Mark, it's been a year since I finished your program, and I have to thank you for how much value, abundance, and confidence you've brought to my life. I've done many other business coaching programs in the past, but none of them taught me how to be a better, happier version of myself. Although many things about me have changed over the last year, I'm happy to report that right after your coaching program, I found an amazing woman that is both gorgeous and an incredible person. With all the skills and habits I picked up in your program, I was able to get her incredibly attracted to me, even though she gets hit on by guys all the time. In the past, I would have waited to be chosen by other girls. This time I was able to choose exactly what I was looking for from abundance. We've been dating for nearly a year and it's been the best relationship I've ever had. Once I'm ready, I'll take it to the next level. I love that sentence, Chad, because that's the essence of what I teach. Once you're ready, it's on your terms when you take it to the next level. Through your program, I learned to embrace the innate masculine being that I am instead of how I grew up thinking a man should be. It has come in handy so many times to break the Mr. Nice Guy habits and be the leader of my relationships. I'm also more witty and banter with people anytime I can to keep things more interesting. I still have great success making up stories to questions I get asked all the time and then tell people the real answer and the story behind it. That shit is magic communication for anyone I'm talking with. Basically, I just want to say thank you. You're the man. I would not be enjoying life as much as I am right now without going through your program. Thank you so much for everything. Signed, Chad. Chad, thank you so much for that. And gentlemen, let's go ahead now and jump into the content. All right, so the approach to sex matrix is a matrix where you have to go through certain stages before you can essentially have sex with a woman. The first stage, of course, is approaching her. And when you first approach her, we can realistically assume that attraction is at a zero. So if you hold up your left hand in front of you and then hold up your right hand in front of you and keep about one foot between them, the left hand represents approaching the woman and the right hand represents sex in this instance. So between that, there needs to be a certain amount of attraction. Let's call that attraction basically 10. So we need a 10 level of attraction and we also need a 10 level of trust and rapport before she's willing to get into bed with you. And generally speaking, it takes women about 12 hours of time with you before they're willing to sleep with you. Of course, there's many contingencies where that isn't true. And of course, you can speed that up. But basically speaking, you need this much attraction between your left hand and your right hand, and you need this much trust and connection between your left hand and your right hand before she'll sleep with you. So as we go from the left hand, we're going to slowly start moving it to the right towards the right hand. And the reason I'm doing this is so that you can visually see what I'm talking about. So as you move your left hand towards your right hand, I want you to go about eh, 15% of the way. Okay, 15% of the way towards your right hand is where you get a phone number. The phone number comes at about 15% attraction, which I would say is about a six, a five, or maybe even a four out of 10 on the attraction scale. So we can get phone numbers pretty easily. In fact, many women will give phone numbers just to get rid of you, and they'll do it because they don't want to say no to you, which is why many girls simply won't text you back. They'll give you their phone number. They won't text you back. And honestly, from my perspective as a dating coach, I feel it's your fault to ask for a phone number before a girl is adequately attracted to you where she'll actually want to text you back. Now, I always tell my clients and I tell you guys who listen to this podcast that you want how many signs of attraction before you go for the phone number. So think about it. How many signs of attraction should you have before you ask for a phone number? Now, many of you guys, unfortunately, and certainly many guys who don't listen to this podcast, will go for the phone number with zero signs of attraction, which really makes girls uncomfortable. So what I always say, and you should know this, is that you want three signs of attraction at least. Signs of attraction are playing with their hair, licking her lips, asking you questions about yourself, laughing at jokes that aren't funny, entering into your personal space, facing you directly, touching you, and jumping into the air and sliding onto your dick. So when you get three of those signs of attraction, 
you're basically green lighted to go for the phone number. But there's one thing I want you to do before you go for the phone number. And Chad, if you're listening, you should know what that one thing is. That's right. I want you to qualify the girl before you go for the phone number. Okay, so the way it works is this, boys. You go in, give value, value, value. And obviously, this can't be a comprehensive lesson on how to give value. I have 450 other episodes where I talk about how to do that. But you're using gambits, tricks, techniques, and attraction building secrets in order to get her attracted to you. And that's what's called value. We're not hitting on her. We're simply being entertaining. We're busting her chops. We're being mysterious. We're talking about shit that no other guy talks about. And we're eliciting those attraction triggers to get her attracted to us. We get three signs of attraction, those which I just went over, including jumping into the air, doing a backflip, touching her feet off the ceiling, and then rotating perfectly as she slides right onto your dick. Those are the signs of attraction, but you want to do one thing, and that is qualify her. Qualify her means making her answer a question trying to sell herself to you. So the qualifying question that I use most is, what would your best friend say is the coolest thing about you? Or what's the greatest thing about you? If you had to pick three great qualities about yourself, what would the first one be? What's good about you beyond your looks? Things like this. If she jumps through your hoop and sells herself to you, she's going to get more attracted to you, which is going to play into our open to sex matrix. And the chances of her texting you back go up exponentially. All right. So to reiterate, we first open, we get her as attracted to us as we possibly can by using the techniques that I teach. We get three signs of attraction. Then we qualify her with simply one or two simple qualifying questions. If she jumps through our hoop and explains herself to us, then we can go for the phone number. Now back to our right and left hand. As I spoke about, we've moved the left hand over about 15% and we got a phone number. Now, in order to get a text back, I want you to move your left hand over 25%. And this is why a lot of you guys can get phone numbers, but you don't get texts back. The reason is, is because you didn't have at least 25% of the way of attraction from that girl in order for her to be motivated to text you back. Now, as you're texting with her, we can ramp up that attraction a little more, but oftentimes when we text with the girl and we get ho-hum answers, she's not really participating, she doesn't seem really into it, it's because we messed up in the first conversation. We simply didn't get enough attraction. Yeah, we got enough attraction to get the phone number, but we didn't get enough attraction to get her to engage. We got a little bit of enough attraction to get her to at least text back, but now she's being ho-hum because there just wasn't enough there. Now you guys are seeing, okay, I get it. I get phone numbers, but then they're ho-hum. Or I get phone numbers and I get ghosted. It's my fault, meaning you didn't get her attracted enough. And I don't really want to say it's your fault because obviously the girl has to participate too. But us as men have to understand that it's our responsibility to A of all, lead the conversation and B of all, get her attracted to us with the conversational topics and how we lead the interaction. It's not her job to get herself attracted to you, okay? A lot of you guys think it is. You just roll up on her and you're like, oh, I'm great. I deserve her. Why isn't she just getting herself attracted to me? It's your job, bro. And unless you do it, Yeah, you may get phone numbers, but you're not getting texts back. So now we're texting with her and let's say we got some pretty good attraction where on the matrix from left to right, we have easily over 25% attraction. Like we got her pretty into us. There were easily three signs of attraction. We qualified her. We busted her chops. We cold read. We did push pull hypo stories. We did the three part answer to what do you do? We did reverse cold reading to bait qualification all the techniques that I teach, and she's fucking down. Now we're texting with her. Now getting the date, that's 50% attraction. So halfway to sex is just to get the date. Why? Because she has to put tons of work into getting ready. She has to go out with a dude who, frankly, she might not know very well and who could be dangerous to her. So now her safety is in question. She has to make plans, go see this dude. It's a lot of fucking effort for a girl. For us men, we're really motivated because we oftentimes think with our dicks and testosterone 
is like this continuous motivating energy that's like nitrous gas in our ball sack that just keeps us fucking going. I mean, we will put so much energy into getting laid. It's ridiculous. You ever see those birds of paradise on the Galapagos Islands that like dance around and show all their feathers and they put all this energy into it and then some canyon mule of a bird flies down who has no colors on her whatsoever and she's just looking at him like left and right, kind of shifting her head and then she flies off and he's like, oh man, I lost another opportunity. Well, let me fucking fluff my feathers even more, clean up the dance floor and try harder for the next chick. It's amazing how much effort we put into this shit, isn't it? Well, getting laid is really motivating. So you guys have to put the work in. It just is what it is. But when you use a skill set and when you stack the chips in your favor, such as go into a goddamn yoga pants, the camel toe convention in Las Vegas, Nevada, April 28th through the 30th, you stack the chips in your favor. And that's what I always try to teach you guys, not only in this podcast, but more importantly in my coaching program. We want to stack the chips so heavily in our favor. It's like the Navy SEALs going in at 3 a.m. to a bunch of sleeping Taliban and just smoking all of them because the chips are so stacked unbelievably in their favor. They have night optics. They have superior training. They have superior gear. They're just better. And that's the way I want you guys to be. And that's what I teach my guys to be so that you could be like Chad, the dude whose review I read in the beginning of this podcast, where you are the chooser, not the chosen. You go in with the upper hand. So now you guys go on the first date. On that first date, you now have a new opportunity to ramp up that attraction that was basically 50% for her to show up into 100% for her to have sex with you. So the real point of this podcast is that you have to understand that first conversation, that first interaction is unbelievably important. Now that begs the question, well, what about the dating apps? The dating apps are really based on your looks and the quality of your pictures. Certainly, you could do pretty well with the templates that I give you when you come join my program. And Stu, one of my clients last night, he's like, dude, I've never had so much success on the dating apps. You are literally like a psychic because the templates say, you're going to say this, she's going to say this. Now you're going to say this, she's going to say this. Now say this, she's going to say this. And then use this exact fucking template word for word to close the hangout. He's like, dude, I'm just a monkey behind a keyboard cutting and pasting exactly what you told me to. And then they reply exactly as you predicted. And I'm like, of course, man, that's why I'm the coach. I've done this tens of thousands of times. I know what the fuck I'm talking about. So yeah, you can get more attraction via your conversation on the dating apps because I'll guarantee you what I teach you guys to do is 10,000 times better than what all the other schleps are doing who are like, hey, what's up? Want to hang out? How are you? What'd you do today? Bullshit. You don't want to do that. You got to spice it up, bro. Add some sriracha to that conversation because most guys are trying to feed her a piece of goddamn cardboard. So you're more interesting than the next guy. And via that, you can yank girls off the dating apps and get them to that 50% of attraction so that they'll get on the date with you. And then once you're on the date, you have to execute, continuing to do what I teach, continuing to be interesting, building intrigue, bantering, being flirty, being slightly out of her grasp, messing with her, but at the same time, building trust and connection, making her feel heard, making her feel special and understood all within the context of not giving her too much. And I know you're sitting there thinking like, man, this is such a hassle. Why don't I just go collect 500 bucks and just go get a prostitute and get a little sick duck and get it fucking over with, get that baby batter off my brain. Hey bro, if that's what you want to do, that's fine. But we as men are programmed to want to pair bond with a woman, just as women are programmed to want to pair bond with us. So if you just figure it out, practice the skill set a little bit, and obviously what I think is the best option, join me for three months so I can have you master this shit. And like Chad, find a girl and get out of this mess once and for all if that's what you want to do. If you simply put the work in, you can master this, can meet the right girl and get out of this fucking nightmare once and for all. Believe me, you can do it. And it's not as hard as it sounds. When you're listening to this and you're a newbie, you're like, oh my hell, this is so much to memorize, but it's not. And this is why I teach my guys that systematic step-by-step -step process to be able to execute where you don't get 30% through this attraction matrix and then lose a girl as you've done so many times. So once we're on the first date, it's absolutely essential that we execute in the way that I teach. Keep her interested, keep her attracted, ramp up that attraction as much as possible so that the first date preferably ends in a really good makeout session and she's leaving the first date A of all disappointed that it ended earlier than she wanted it to and B of all thinking how she can get a second date with you. Once you guys get on the second date 
In my opinion, if you continue doing what you're doing, sex is inevitable. We get her all the way to the right side and that left hand hits your right hand, basically smacking those cheeks. So that's the way the approach to sex attraction matrix works. And that is why a lot of times girls will fall off through certain stages of the matrix is simply because you didn't generate enough attraction. And attraction, again, is your responsibility So what you're doing now is the right thing. You're listening to a podcast like this one. You're trying to improve yourself. And once you get it down to a certain level, then it's just repeatable. You literally press print on a printer and you just repeat, repeat, repeat with every single chick. A lot of guys ask me when they see me talking to girls, they're like, man, they're just laughing the whole time. It's so easy. And I tell them, bro, I've said this shit so many times. I'm not even thinking about it. I'm literally thinking about the soccer game I just watched or the super cross race that just went down. My mind is in a different area. I'm just repeating like a parrot, getting through all the stages, doing all the necessary things so that she gets attracted in the fastest way possible so we can just get it over with. And that's where my clients get. It's just rinse and repeat. But learning it, mastering it, listen, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna blow smoke up your ass. It takes practice. It takes a skill set, and that's why in my three months, we focus heavily on practicing this shit, getting the reps in. You're like in a batting cage, taking swings at ball after ball after ball. Yes, we even talk to canyon mules, mountain trolls, and sea hags because it doesn't matter. Women are women, and we want reps in order to build the skill set so that when that 10 comes along that you met at the camel toe convention, you know how to get that girl attracted to you so that when you open, you have all the attraction you need through the approach to sex matrix where you can have sex with her as soon as possible and like Chad, locking her down from choice, not just being chosen. Gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you'd like to meet with me and my team talking about whether or not you're a good fit for my three-month coaching program and we're a good fit for you, where we can at least 10X your results with women, you can get on a free one-on-one breakthrough session with my boy, Victor Lynch, the same dude who thought of the convention idea, the most brilliant idea I've heard in 2023, and talk about whether or not this is a good fit for you. We're not pushy. We don't use some extreme sales techniques where we try to close you into something that's not a good fit for you. No, 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 no. I want reviews just like the one I read from Chad. I want Chad to invite me to his wedding when he chooses to marry this chick. I've been to dozens of weddings of my clients. I get reports all the time. I actually had my boy, Al. He just had his first threesome. And I think the dude is like 55 years old. He was talking about it the other night in the coaching call and a smile on that dude's face wrapped around his entire fucking head. I've never seen a dude so pumped in his life. And he's like, Mark Singh, thank you. I always wanted to have a threesome. I was getting old. I thought it would never happen. And he knocked it out like a fucking champion because it's a skill set, boys, that you two can learn. Go to my website, coachmarksing.com. Click on coaching. Fill in the quick application. You and I will email back and forth a little bit. And yes, as I always say, I expect for you to reply to all my emails within 24 hours. We'll book your session with my boy, Victor Lynch, and see if it's a good fit for you. Can we 10X your results with women? Can we get you the same results that I get for guy after guy after guy? That's the only question we're asking, and that's what we want to find out. But we can't find out unless you apply, can we? So do that right now while it's on your mind. We'd love to meet you. I draw podcasts on Mondays and Thursdays, so please stay tuned for the next one, and I will see you in the next episode.